Patreon. down here and see how things are going. Ugh. So spring developed spring completely dried up. Uh, Open the lid. Let's see, all dry. So nothing coming out of here except maybe whatever's left in the line. That's it. So close those off, and we disconnect from here on the PEX adapter. right there and then this connection from here I am um, let me see if we're still pumping yeah you can see right there still pumping water through and it's cold you can see it's fogged up not covered and keeping an eye On this over here it's kind of showing our our level the water level was actually um, at the top of this oh here a week or so ago and it's down now to where it's at but we, we have plenty of water uh, and you can see down here it's creating a little interference pattern see how it's vibrating that area but what I did is I put a submersible pump right there put it inside a container um, basically put screen cloth uh, window screen cloth all around it and then that's uh, basically pumping the water up into that so, it's an overcast day, but it's still pumping water. So what I need to do is go down. Uh, let's go down over here. I need to cover that up. Spiderweb, right in my face. Sorry. <laughs> Water from the last rain coming through. And what I'd like to avoid is after the water's coming in here. Is avoid any overflow down there. So what that means is, if you listen, still pumping up. 
take my glove off for a second. So here's how I tell basically how much water we filled up since yesterday. It's right there. Hear the echoing? Right there. So the water level is basically right there. So what I'd like to do is, with the sun the way it is right now, um, I'll just let it run. Go ahead and fill this tank up. Um, go ahead and fill this tank up so that um, maybe tomorrow, when we get some more sun, it's supposed to be much hotter tomorrow. Uh, we will go ahead and. Um, switch the wires. So here's how I'm going to switch the wires. Okay. So. This wire coming in the black and this one here. If you look down here at the bottom left, they're coming in from the solar panel. And I basically just put spade connectors on these. Okay, and what that means is, when I pull off the connector on this side, there's your spade. Hear the water stop running? You hear that? Okay, so that flat connector, when I want to turn on this motor here uh, to pump it, up the hill, I've got a black and a red. So this one's a male connector. I'm sorry, yeah, that's a male connector and this is a female connector. So all I have to do is disconnect this one and this one and fit it directly into here for now. now I know there's a switching way to do it or put something else on here, but that's what I've been just doing temporarily. But what I'd like to do is, uh, instead of instead of filling this tank, which we should have a reserve here anyway, so I'm going to top this off. As soon as this tops off, probably later today. Um, then what I'm going to do is I need to put another um, I need to put another valve in here, where I can I can leave one valve open, turn the other one closed, come off in a T. Then turn this off. I could turn this one on, for example, and come into a T here so that it's actually pumping uh, this direction and then going to the house and basically bypassing uh, basically bypassing the tank. And that would be so much easier than having to do this uh, back and forth thing. But anyway, just waiting on uh, another one of my customers to pay. Just kind of holding off on spending any money until the next round of uh, cash and stuff comes in. So, anywho, that is it for now. John with Off Grid Homesteading. Talk to you later. And then I'm going to go back up and uh, I'll set the uh, tractor up to, uh, or the video up to uh, watch me doing the tractor work here in a minute.